Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another exciting feature of Microsoft OneNote is the ability to record both audio and video files while taking notes in your notebook at the same time. The audio or video file will be stored on your page and any notes you take will be time-coded in the clip for easy reference. Of course, in order to record an audio file, you'll need to have a working microphone on your computer and a working camera if you intend to record video, of course. Now to record an audio or video file and insert it into your notebook, first navigate to the page where you want the file stored and then click to place your cursor where you want the file to be placed. Next, select the Insert tab up in the ribbon and then click or tap either the Record Audio or Record Video button in the Recording group here in the center. When you do, OneNote will automatically begin recording and the Playback tab in the ribbon will change to Recording until you stop. As you record, you can also add notes by simply typing them into the same container that holds the audio or video file. When you're done recording, click the Stop button in the Playback group of the tab. You'll then see your file and any associated notes inserted into the page. Let's take a look at how to do this. We'll go ahead and click to record an audio file and begin. What's new in Access 2013? In a word, apps. An Access web app is a new type of database that you build and access, then use and share with others as a SharePoint app in a web browser. To build an app, you just select the type of data you want to track, contacts, tasks, projects, and so on. Access creates the database structure, complete with views that let you add and edit data. Navigation and basic commands are built in so you can start using your app right away. When you're done with your recording then we would click stop up here in the playback group. You'll see then that this changed from recording to playback. You'll then see the file and any associated notes inserted into the page. We see that down here in the container so there's our audio file that we just recorded and here we have the notes that we added in. Now if you hover your mouse over that icon you'll see information about the file such as its size, the date and time of the recording, and so forth. Now while hovering over the icon you will also see a small play button just to the left of the icon which you can click to play the recording right here. As you move down through the associated notes though, you'll see that, that each line in the notes has its own play button. As we move to down these notes here, you'll see different little play button just to the left. Those buttons allow you to play a certain portion of the recording beginning where the note was taken. The playback will start at whatever time you have set in your audio and video options. So for example, I could click right here and it will start playing back exactly at that point with the settings in place that I have. As we saw in a previous lesson, you can also control the audio and video settings of OneNote by clicking the button of the same name in the Options group of the Playback tab in the ribbon. So let's look at that. So here we have our options and we have the audio and video settings. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. Now in the OneNote Options dialog box that appears, you can adjust any of the available settings. Remember including how far to rewind and play prior to the start of a file or part of a file. So we changed that earlier in the course to 3, but you can set it to whatever you like. The default is 5 seconds. And when you set that then, when you go to play, the file will start the number of seconds before you started typing the notes. 
So you can make that change there and you just click OK to make your changes in the dialog box. That's how we record audio and video files and take notes at the same time and insert those into our OneNote notebook pages. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.